Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you how to install XNA Game Studio for Visual Studio 2012 and how to set up the content pipeline for Monogame. Uh, before we can do all this we need to have Visual Studio 2010 installed uh, so that we can move the template from 2010 into 2012. So first of all you can go and get a free version of our trial version of Visual Studio 2010 on this website. So go and download it from Microsoft Download Center and install the 2010 trial version. Um, one other thing we need for the Visual Studio uh, 2010 is the Service Pack 1. So when you have downloaded and installed 2010 you should go to the this link I've put in the comment or the video info and download Service Pack 1 for Visual Studio 2010 and install that. And we need the Service Pack 1 so we'll be able to install the Windows um, Phone SDK 7.1 later. I already installed it but yeah, you can install the Service Pack and then move on to the next step. Uh, if you have Windows uh, 8 you should go and download the games for Windows software 3.5 uh, because if you have Windows 8 you need that installed to be able to install the XNA Game Studio. So if you have Windows 8 go and download this and if you have Windows 7 you can skip this step. When you have downloaded that you should download and install the XNA Game Studio. Um, and there's a link in the video info where you can get the XNA Game Studio. So now when we have installed all that software, we can move on to installing the 7.1 phone SDK. When we have installed that, we need to move the templates from Visual Studio 2010 into 2012. So navigate to the Visual Studio 2010 extension folder and copy the XNA Game Studio extension and paste it into the Visual Studio 2012 extension folder. So now we have put the templates in the right place. Uh, what we need to do now is that we need to edit a file in there to let the, the XNA Game Studio know that we are in Visual Studio 2012 instead. So if we open the extensions, <coughs> uh, the extensions file, we can copy it to our desktop, this desktop, and then we need to change the Visual Studio version from 10 to 11. So if we look there, it's written 10 now. What we're going to do is we're going to change it to 11. And then we're going to save the file and copy it and replace it with the original file. So now XNA Game Studio knows that it's in version 11. What you have to do is open the CMD and paste the line I put in the video info and press enter to install the templates in uh, Visual Studio 2012. So now when we have installed the templates, we should be able to see them when we press a new, new project. And as you can see, we have a mono game here, and we have XNA Game Studio 4.0 in, um, in Visual Studio 12. I'm just gonna make a new project here. And if I run it, you should see that I'll be able to have the game window open and everything should be working just fine. So now for setting up the content pipeline in um, in Monogame. Okay, so now we have installed XNA and everything for for Windows 8 and Visual Studio 2012 so now we're gonna check if everything works as it should be and we're gonna set up the content pipeline for 
um, for Monogame. So first of all, open Visual Studio again, click New Project, and then select a Windows OpenGL project, and just give it some random name. So now everything should work as intended when run this game. And it works. Okay, so now I'm going to set up the content pipeline. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the solution, add new project, and then I'm going to select a monogame content pro project. I'm going to connect the pipeline. So now when I have my pipeline project, I can, like, sorry, my content project, I can add um, some different content if I right click on the content project and say add new item I can select lots of different things here I can click the visual C sharp here and as you can see we can add an effect file and sprite front and all these things and I'm gonna add a sprite font and I'm gonna call it my font and as you can see I can edit everything in here like the size of the font so I can change it to 15 I can change the spacing, the like font type and the style. For example, I can select bold here. Uh, then we're gonna save and I'm gonna build the solution. So now it built this sprite font into an XNB file. And the XNB file is what our monogame project needs. So if I open the project here and select the pipeline pipeline here. Bin PSM in content. Um, then you can see there is an XNB file here that we can use in our monogame project. So all I have to do is that I have to drag this fund into my content folder in the original project and then click on it and select copy always. Now I can go to my game one here and write write fund my fund and then load the my fund content um, x and b file into the sprite fund my fund equals content load write fund my fund and then down here I'm going to write sprite batch that begin and sprite batch that end and then I'm going to write sprite batch that draw string to draw our fund and it's my fund I want to use I want to write hello world and the position is just 10 10 and the color is color dot white. So now I should be able to see some text on my screen. Um, <coughs> and as you can see, hello world is written. And that's how you install uh, XNA Game Studio for Visual Studio uh, 2012. And that's how you set up the content pipeline in Monogame.